I want to say some things and if it makes it to the internet, yeah, I'm probably still crazy, whatever. Hi guys, welcome to another fabulous video from me. I need help. I want to tell you something that has been on my mind and I am definitively not the first person to say or think or feel anything that I'm about to share. I think it's something that we need to start talking about. Y'all, if my life depends on me not touching my face, it's not going to happen. Get my tombstone ready. Okay, I really do have something that I wanted to talk about and something that I think is important. And I really am not the first person to come up with this. I think it's time we admit to ourselves. We're not going back. And... I know that's a hard thing to say, and I'm not saying that we are stuck in our houses forever. I really hope not, okay? Just for the sake of the economy and everything else, I think eventually we have to get to something. But I need to say this, because so many people are trying to get back, and they want to get back, and they just want to know when we get back. And the thing is, is that, you guys, we don't. This needs to be something that we're able to talk about in our homes and in our lives with our friends and with our family. But we have lost at this point almost 45,000 Americans. Not to mention the worldwide loss. 9-11 was a fraction of that. And the losses experienced in one day are not unlike what we're going to experience in some of the high days of this and probably more. These events, they change our lives, but that's nothing to be scared, upset, or worried about. And the reason for that is, is because we are always facing events that change our lives. The way things were, is probably not the way things are going to be. I think one of the mistakes we make as humans is trying to get back, trying to go back to how it was. And the problem with that is, is we often romanticize what we had before, okay? While we're in it, it drives us crazy and we're losing our minds and we're struggling and we're crying and we're stressed out and then we get out of it and we get to this next thing and all of a sudden that doesn't look so bad. And we think we had it nice before, right? We forget how it really was. We forget how we really felt. Stephen Furtick from Elevation Church preached a great sermon on this. I highly recommend that if you want something good to watch this week, that you go look up Elevation Church and you watch this past week sermon. It was called um, Looking Forward to Normal, I think is what it was called. I wanted to invite us to stop just saying we're trying to get back to when do we get back? When do we get back? When do we get back? We don't get back. We don't get back because back is in the past. And if you are a growth oriented person, the first thing you know is that's not the way we're headed. It's never the way we're headed. We're never headed into the past. We're wanting to move forward and to grow. And that means that we have to deal with right now, right here, where we are. I think for our mental health and our mindsets, it is best to understand we don't go back. We're not going that way. What we are doing is going forward with what we have been given and what we have. And Please understand, please understand that we are not through this. This is not done. And challenges are still being faced. There are still risks. And it's easy for us to think that we can just lighten up and, and not worry about anything, okay? Because a lot of us, haven't seen anything really close to home. Um, some of us have, some of us know, 
but a lot of us haven't seen things really close to home. And though I think for many people, this is still a very abstract situation that has really only affected their pocketbooks and their convenience levels. Okay. And that's a big deal because it's hard when something is far off and seems distant and it's affecting your day-to-day -day life, but it's not being all that traumatic in the sense of loved ones you know aren't sick, people aren't dying, and you're like, maybe it's not a real thing. Maybe it's not really happening. But here's what I want you to know, okay? We're still climbing. Things are still happening. Things are still going on. Um, and as we go, it's easier to think, okay, I'm safe. I'm good. I urge you to be mindful of what you're doing. Because once you roll that dice and it comes up bad, it's too far. It's too late. Don't live in fear. Don't let fear ruin your life. Don't let it take hold and take over. That's not what I'm saying. I think we always have a choice on how we view things and what we look for in things. We are a history class that is playing out for the entire world to see. I know we don't get back to pre-pandemic life any more than we got back to pre-9-11 life or pre-World War II life or pre-World War I life or pre-Civil War life or pre-garden life. We don't just get to hop back. We've got to move forward from here with those mindsets. Where are we going? What are we doing with what's on our plate today? Anyway, I don't want this video to be really long. I just wanted to share that because I know a lot of us are wanting that sense of normalcy at this point. This has gone on for a while. One thing in the grand scheme of things, people, this is just a little small inkling of time, okay? A couple of months. That really is not a lot. Please, please, please keep that in your mind. That as long as this has felt, I know some days when I'm like struggling, the day feels forever. As long as this is, it really hasn't been a lot yet. Time moves in one direction. And we have to deal with what's on our plate now. And I will remind you, through all of my struggles, through all of my up and downs, my tears, my sorrow, my sadness, and all of those things that plague me regularly, I speak from a place of experience and a place of having to tell myself these same things all the time. There can be joy. There can be love. There can be happy. There can be things to look forward to and hope to be had in the midst of whatever is being faced. There is another day. There is a future. Seasons will always change. Things will always move on. Today is not all there is. Today is not all there will ever be. Do not let a temporary situation dictate your permanent reality. We will move on. Things will be different. Just as this changed us, other things will change us. I have no idea what the rest of this year brings, but I never did. That's my recommendation for the day. Stop trying to go back. Just keep moving forward. That's the only way we get out of this is to move forward, not backwards. I love y'all. Don't lose your minds. Because I kind of do. Have I showed you Lucas? Have you met Lucas? You want something to fun to look up on the internet today with your kids? Go look up Lucas the spider and watch all his little videos. Love him.
seriously, he makes me happy and I don't like spiders. <laughs>